Let's dive right in, shall we? Jane, Emma, and Carla are working out in a gym. One of them isn't being careful enough. Who is it? It's Carla. Look, she's doing exercises while chewing gum. She could accidentally choke on it. Look at Matt and Olivia. They're both cooking dinner. Matt is using a stove, and Olivia is using a grill outside. Which of them is doing something wrong? It's Matt. He forgot to turn the stove on. Nor was a married man, and his wife had a twin sister. One day, the twins decided to trick him. They both pretended to be his wife to see if he'd find the right person. Unfortunately, Noor got way too confused. Can you find his real wife? Look at the wedding picture of Noor and his wife. She has a tattoo on her right arm. So his wife must be the woman on the left who also has a tattoo on her right arm. Willem and Sean were caught by the police close to the graffiti that had just appeared on a building. One of them painted it, but both denied doing anything. Who do you think is lying? It was Willem. Look, there's some paint on her hands and shirt. Drake and Thor are both on vacation. Drake is skiing in the mountains with his girlfriend, and Thor is surfing with his best friend. Look at them now. Which one of them is in danger? Drake! He's screaming in the mountains. It's not safe because it can cause an avalanche. Now, let's find some pet owners. For example, look at these three girls. Can you figure out who the cat belongs to? Its owner is the girl on the right. Look at her legs and hands. She has some scratches. Very typical for cat owners. Now, there are three people sitting in the park. See that dog playing there? Who does it belong to? To the guy in the middle. Look, he has a leash. These guys, Ian, Noah, and Luke, are basketball players. They're getting ready for the game in the changing room. Which of them is Noah? It must be this guy, the one who's not wearing shoes. Look, his shoes are in the locker with the name tag Noah. Esme was walking in the forest and got lost. She had been wandering for hours until she came across a witch's house. The witch was busy with a new spell and had a riddle for Esme. If the girl managed to solve it, the witch would let her go. If Esme failed, she'd have to stay with the witch forever. So the witch had six test tubes. The first three were empty, and the last three were full. For the spell, full and empty tubes had to alternate. Esme had to solve this problem, but she could only touch one tube. How can she do it? Esme should take the fifth tube and pour the liquid from it into the second one. A bank was robbed on a Friday evening. There were no customers and no signs of a break-in, which meant it was one of the bank employees. The robbery was discovered by the bank director, Mr. Perry. There were three main suspects, Ms. Cott, Mr. Mendez, and Ms. Morgan. All of them denied being anywhere close to the safe. But one of them lied. Who was it? Pay attention to the footprints. 
These must belong to Mr. Perry. But there's another pair, which must be heels. Mr. Mendez is wearing sneakers, and Miss Morgan is wearing flats. Miss Cott is the only one wearing heels. The footprints are likely to be hers. So she lied. Mrs. Nichols has four daughters and a son. The oldest daughter's name is April. She's an artist. The second daughter is December. She's into sports. Her third daughter is August, and she's keen on cooking. May is the fourth one, and she likes reading. Their brother Adam is the youngest in the family. How is his name connected to his sister's? The first letters of the girls' names make up the name Adam. Another family riddle for you. Ava is Bella's sister, Bella is Ella's sister, and Ella is Ruby's mother. Who is Ruby for Ava? If Ava is Bella's sister and Bella is Ella's sister, It seems like the three of them are sisters. Since Ruby is Ella's daughter, then both Ava and Bella are Ruby's aunts. So Ruby is Ava's niece. Take a look at these friends at the beach. Which of them is a robot? It must be this girl. Look, it's very hot outside and everyone is sweating. Except her. That's kind of odd. The police also broke into three apartments. In one of them, a robot lives. Can you guess where? Look, there's a lot of machine oil in the bathroom. I'll bet it belongs to the robot. What about this photo? Can you spot a robot here? It's summer, and everyone is wearing shorts and tops, except for this guy. He's wearing long pants, a long sleeve shirt, and even gloves. He must be hiding his body. I'd say it's him. Here's a photo of people sitting in a cafe. Can you spot a robot here? It must be this lady, since she's not drinking or eating anything. Guess why? Well, robots can't eat human food, obviously. Another peek into some people's houses. One room belongs to a robot, but which one? It must be this one. Look, there's a whole bunch of bolts and spare parts in the wardrobe. Have a look at this group of friends. Can you tell which of them is a robot? It must be this guy. There's some steam and sparks coming from it. Perhaps it's a robot that needs some renovations. Aiko has won a game show, and she can finally get her prize. But there's a catch. One last task. There are three boxes, and she can pick one to take with her. One box is filled with $100 bills, another box contains 5-cent coins, and the last box has both bills and coins. The boxes look exactly the same, and the girl can't touch any of them. The boxes have labels. Bills on the left one, coins in the middle one, and bills and coins on the right one. All the boxes are labeled wrong. Aiko can't look inside any of the boxes, but she can ask for one sample from any box. What should Aiko's strategy be to identify the box filled with bills only? Since all the boxes are labeled wrong, Aiko should ask for a sample from the bills and coins box. If there's a bill there, then that's the one she needs. She should simply take it. If there's a coin, then it's the box with coins. 
In that case, the remaining boxes contain bills and bills with coins. And since the labels are incorrect, the one with bills is the one marked with the label coins. The day that is tomorrow for the day after tomorrow is as far away from Wednesday as the day that is yesterday for the day before yesterday. So, what day is it today? The tomorrow for the day after tomorrow and the yesterday for the day before yesterday are exactly three days away from today. If they're equally far away from Wednesday, then today is Wednesday. Meadow loved animals and she decided to get some frogs. She talked to her mom about it and they made a decision. Only one of these three statements is correct. 1. Meadow got at least one frog. 2. Meadow got at least five frogs. 3. Meadow got fewer than 5 frogs. How many frogs did Meadow get? So, only one statement is correct. If it's the first one, then the other two must be wrong. In this case, she can't get 5 or more frogs, so it doesn't work. If the second statement is correct, then she has at least 5 frogs. But then the first statement is automatically correct, too. Let's say the third statement is correct, so she got fewer than 5 frogs. Automatically, the second statement is wrong. But for the first statement to be wrong, too, she should have got fewer than 1 frog. So it seems that, after talking to her mom, Meadow got 0 frogs. Maybe instead, her mom got her a dog, which would at least rhyme. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side. Rose, Lily, and Jasmine enter a flower shop on Mother's Day to buy some flowers for their moms. One of them buys lilies, the second one, roses, and the third one, jasmines. It's funny, said the lady with roses. <laughs> we bought roses, jasmines, and lilies, but none of us bought the flowers matching her name. Lily replies, Whoa, you're right! Can you guess which kind of flowers each of the girls bought? We know that the lady who bought the roses isn't Rose, and she's not Lily either. Because Lily replied to her words, so Jasmine bought roses, Rose bought lilies, and Lily bought jasmines. Bob also bought some flowers for his wife. All of the flowers he has are orchids, except two. All of the flowers he has are hibiscuses, except two. And all of the flowers he has are roses, except two. Can you guess how many flowers Bob has? Bob purchased only two flowers, neither of which are orchids, hibiscuses, or roses. At the end of his shift, the barista checks a tip jar. There are five coins inside the jar. Five people take these five coins home. However, one coin is still left in the jar. How can this be possible? Simple, the last person took the jar along with the coin. Therefore, one coin still remains in the jar. Three best friends participate in a bicycle race, but one of them is cheating. Can you guess who? The person in the middle. She rides an electric bike. Four people wake up on a deserted island. In a while, they get really hungry and go for a walk to find some food. Amy finds a bush with berries. Peter finds a closed can of beans. Fred finds this beautiful apple tree. And Nina discovers a hive full of honey. Only one of these options is safe. Can you decide which one? A creepy cobra is hiding in the bush. The beans expired 10 years ago. Oh. It's not safe to take honey from the hive without a protective suit. So. Apples are the safest option. It has 13 hearts, yet it's never alive. What is it?
a pack of cards. I have three eyes and all are in a straight line. When my red eye opens, everything freezes. What am I? I'm a stoplight. I'm made of wood, but you can't saw me down. What am I? I'm sawdust. Wendy is trapped in a creepy castle. It has only two possible exits. The first door leads to a room constructed from magnifying glass. The blazing hot sun instantly fries anyone who enters. And there's a fire-breathing dragon waiting behind the second door. Can you help Wendy escape? She should wait until nighttime and go through the first door. Can you write the number 45 only using the number 4? Here's the correct way. Tim lives in an apartment building. He comes home in the evening and finds out that his car is wrecked. He also sees three neighbors standing nearby. Tim wants to find out who's guilty, so he questions them. Henry replies, I was just skating around the block. I didn't touch your car. Hmm. Will says, I was playing basketball with my friends. And Shelly replies, I've spent all day working in the coffee shop on the first floor of our building. Can you spot the liar? Hmm. Shelly, she said that she'd been visiting the coffee shop, but it's closed for good. Bella wants to rob an old lady's house. She approaches the door and sees that the door is opened. <laughs> Bella freaks out and runs away. Can you see what's wrong here? There's no hole for a key. There's a five-letter word that has three consonants, and they are all the same. Also, the word has two different vowels. There's something wrong associated with this word. Can you guess it? Error. Sam is a restaurant owner. He enters the space, and the waiter whispers to him, Sir, there's a famous millionaire eating lunch at one of the tables. Ooh. Sam looks around and sees these four persons. Can you guess who's rich? The first guy is wearing a fake Nike hoodie. This elegant woman has a fake Gucci bag. The third person is wearing torn shoes. And this lady is holding the keys from the brand new Ferrari parked behind the window. So she's definitely not poor. Take a look at these nine letters. Can you form a nine letter word using these letters? Don't forget to use each letter. The word is mythology. What has lots of eyes but can't see? The correct answer is a potato. I'm the part of the bird that's not in the sky. I can swim in the ocean and yet remain dry. What am I? I'm a shadow. An electric train is traveling southwest at 95 miles per hour, and the wind is blowing northeast at 95 miles per hour. Can you guess which direction the smoke blows? There's no smoke with an electric train. What five-letter word becomes shorter when you add two letters to it? The correct answer is short. The more of me here, the less you see. What am I? I'm darkness. What building has the most stories?
Bop Library, of course. Bob gets lost in the gym. He's wandering around and finds three doors leading outside. There are dangerous lions behind the first door. There's a giant pterodactyl breathing fire behind the second door. And behind the third door, there's a tank with hungry sharks. Nobody can cross this tank and stay alive. Which door should Bob choose to survive? To crack this riddle, Bob should remember that pterodactyls don't breathe fire. That's what dragons do. Also, pterodactyls went extinct many millions of years ago, so Bob should choose the second door. I'm tall when I'm young, and I'm short when I'm old. What am I? I'm a candle. There's a one-story house in which everything is pink. Pink walls, pink doors, pink furniture. Can you guess the color of the stairs? It's a one-story house. There are no stairs. I'm taken from a mine and shut up in a wooden case from which I'm never released. And yet I'm used by almost everybody. What am I? I'm a pencil lead. Miss Smith is a billionaire. She has three people living in her house with her. Adam, her reckless son, Peter, her noisy brother, Hello. and Sebastian, the loyal housekeeper. One day, Miss Smith finds this message written on her calendar. Can you help her spot the betrayer? Ooh. The circled numbers mean the months. It's her son, Adam. I can be long or I can be short. I can be grown and I can be bought. I can be painted or left bare. I can be round or a square. What am I? I'm your fingernails. Danny is a famous vampire hunter. He gets an invitation to a small town. There's a vampire living in this town, but nobody can catch this dangerous creature. Danny decides to look in the local restaurant. He asks the staff to show him security camera archives to check among the restaurant visitors over the years and soon identifies the vampire. Who's the vampire? There he is. Vampires don't age and also don't eat food. Danny takes a walk around the town and spots another creepy detail. Can you see it too? There's a zombie hiding over there. What about this location? Can you spot any zombies here? Hello, great job. Can you count the number of triangles in the given picture? What about this picture? How many triangles can you see? You can pause this video if you need extra time. There are 104 triangles in this picture. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side. Hey, are you an expert in brands? Choose the correct logo and get one point for each right answer. Level. Easy peasy. Both apples are half eaten, but which one is eaten the right way? Ah, uh, I see. I start eating apples from that side, too. Can you figure out which one is the NASA logo?
Aha! No yellow color around the blue meatball. Got it. A little twittering bird, but which one? Yeah, because the one on the left looks too fluffy. Do you know what the Rolex logo looks like? This crown definitely looks more natural. The crocodile on the left or the crocodile on the right? That is the question. Right. No wonder I thought the crocodile on the left looks too bumpy to decorate your polo shirt. I'm sure you'll deal with this one hands down. And of course, the real Adidas logo is on the left. I won't give you any hints, but I know the answer. Nee, 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 nee. Told you so. Ah, this is a tough one. Gotta go and check my wardrobe. Or is it cheating? So, Puma's big feline is jumping to the left. Ah, good to know. Something is off with one of these logos, but you gotta puzzle it out on your own. Yeah, Citroen has two, not three upward-facing arrows on its logo. Ah, this one is simple. I didn't even have any doubts. I guess you need to do your laundry yourself to know the right logo for this washing powder, huh? So, green at the top, red at the bottom. Got it. So, which logo looks more familiar? The famous car manufacturer opted for the first logo. Hmm, they both look okay to me. So, which one? Less red, more blue. I see. Level? Tricky. It's a pity I'm more of a tea person. I knew this one looked more familiar. Well, I'm not an expert in gas and oil, but I might know the answer. And I was right. This one is indeed tricky. Mmm, now I know what the logo of my favorite pizza place looks like. Do you know which logo this famous electronics company has? Oh, it was a lucky guess. The difference between these logos is tiny, but one of them is wrong. The one on the left represents the world-known software and computer manufacturer. Coca-Cola or Coca-Cola? And the answer is Coca-Cola. <laughs> Just kidding. The first logo is the correct one. Yummy. I'm sure you'll get this one right.
Uh-oh, I thought this logo was a bit wavier. Now, we'll find out how often you watch MTV. And it turns out I watch it often enough. <laughs> um, they look the same to me. Oh, I see the difference now, but it's too late. Duh. Red, white, blue versus red, white, blue. Tough choice. If you pick the logo on the left, you're absolutely right. I'm not sure about this one. Do you know the answer? I knew the logo on the right was the one. Social media fans, use your superpowers. Who would have thought? I'm not an Insta person. Ha! <laughs> I've used this service often enough to know the right logo. It's the one on the left. Level mind boggling. Wow, they weren't kidding about mind boggling. Okay, the right logo is the one on the left. Got that? Do you like making and sharing short videos? Then you must know which TikTok logo is the right one. Did you pick the one on the left? Then you totally nailed it. How often do you eat burgers? Let's check. It seems I should treat myself to burgers more often. Oh no, colors again? Wow, that was a tough one. You mean I had to keep in mind the color of his bow? Apparently, I'm good at distinguishing colors. Was your guess correct? I've been to Subway hundreds of times. Never knew their logo can be so confusing. The one on the right. Ah, my intuition didn't let me down. And now, you want me to choose between two blue colors? Wicked. First, the darker blue, then the lighter. That's the right logo. You must be kidding me! The logo on the right seemed more familiar, and no wonder it's the correct logo. Wait, are they even different? Ah, I see. They decided to make the robot's antenna as simple as possible. I use this messenger often enough to know the correct logo. Oops. I was sure it was the one on the left. KFC and its logo. Do you remember which is the one? It's the logo on the left. Look at the apron and the stripes on it. Wide stripes or thin ones? The correct logo has narrow stripes. Um, I mean, they're both colorful and pretty.
<laughs> I cheated by googling the Google logo. No pun intended. Are you ready to see how well you've done? Here you go! If you've got 0 to 13 points, you probably don't pay much attention to brands. The most important thing for you is how well whatever you need works. If your score is 14 to 26 points, you often buy branded things, but you don't care enough to remember what their logos look like. If you have 27 to 39 points, brands and logos are likely to play an important role in your life. You also have a sharp eye and pay close attention to the smallest details. Albert Einstein, Nikola Tesla, Mary Curie, Leonardo da Vinci. Think about all these people. What did they have in common? Aside from the fact that they changed the world with their inventions, discoveries, and art. They all had high IQs and were extremely smart and creative. But you don't need to be a scientist, an artist, a mathematician, or a chess player to have a high IQ. And vice versa, if you're one of those, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have a high IQ. IQ stands for Intelligence Quotient. To put it simply, it's the score that indicates how well you use your logic and reasoning skills and how fast you process information. But keep in mind that there are many different types of intelligence, from emotional to bodily kinesthetic, and an IQ test can only measure one of them. And now, are you ready to check your IQ score? There are 20 questions in this test, and you have 7 seconds to answer each of them. For every correct answer, you get 1 point. Don't forget to count your score and share your results in the comments at the end of the video. Are you ready? Then let's begin. Question 1. How many 2's appear between 1 and 100? A. 10 B. 20 C. 12 D. 11 The correct answer is 20. If your answer was right, kudos to you. But if it was incorrect, then you might have forgotten about the 2s in 21, 22, 23. I'm sure you got it. Question 2. Take a look at this sequence. What number comes next? A. 44 B. 16 C. 56 D. 64 In this sequence, each number is greater than the previous one. It means that the number you're looking for also needs to be greater than 32. So the sequence goes like this. And the correct answer is 44. Question 3. What day will it be tomorrow if Wednesday was three days ago? The correct answer is Sunday. Question 4. What is a quarter of two-thirds of 9,000? A. 2,000 B. 3,000 C. 1,500 D. 1,000 The correct answer is C. Question 5. What number should come next in this sequence? A. 7 B. 18 C. 27 D. 26 Take a look at the 1st, 3rd, 5th, and 7th numbers first. They decreased by 1. On the other hand, the 2nd, 4th, and 6th numbers increase by 1. The number you're looking for belongs to the second group, since it's going to be the eighth number. And what comes after 25? 26. So the correct answer is D. Question 6. Which word is the odd one? A. Index. B. Glossary. C. Book. D. Chapter. The word book is the different one because the rest of the words are all part of a book. Question 7. If thing turns into night, what does 75120 turn into? A. 
21057. B. 51270. C. 17052. D. 70521. To solve this riddle, you need to figure out the relationship between the word thing and the number 75120. Once you do that, you'll realize that a particular letter corresponds to a certain number. So T is connected with 7, H with 5, I with 1, N with 2, and G with 0. Now, arrange these numbers according to the order of the letters in the word night. You'll get 21057, so the correct answer is A. Question 8. How many triangles are there in this picture? A. 10 B. 13 C. 17 D. 12 The correct answer is 13. Question 9. Which shape is different from the others? The correct answer is C, because all the other shapes have 8 sides, while this one only has 6. Question 10. Which word would be the third if you put them in alphabetical order? A. Thread B. Thrice C. Thrill D. Thrive The correct answer is C. Question 11. A dress and a belt cost $830 in total. The dress is $720 more expensive than the belt. How much does the dress cost? A. 775 B. 740 C. 360 D. 715 The correct answer is A. Question 12. What number is the next in this sequence? A. 22 B. 17 C. 21 D. 19 Each number is the sum of the two numbers that comes before. When you add 8 to 13, you get 21. So the correct answer is C. Question 13. What is the number you need? A. 5 B. 2 C. 1 D. 6 Do you see the two squares? The sum of the numbers in their corners needs to equal 17. So that makes 2 the correct answer. Question 14. What is the finished cube going to look like? The correct answer is C. Question 15. Which word is the odd one? A. Sadness B. Fondness C. Happiness D. Hope The correct answer is sadness, since it's considered to be a negative emotion while the rest of them are positive feelings. Question 16. Kate, Joanna, and Natalie are three sisters. If the following statements are all true, which of them is the youngest? Kate is the oldest. Natalie is not the oldest. Joanna is not the youngest. A. Joanna B. Kate C. Natalie D. Both Joanna and Natalie The answer is Natalie. Question 17. 
Here are two statements. Some men are kings. All kings have golden crowns. And here are two conclusions. All men have golden crowns. All kings are men. Which of the following is the correct answer? A. Only conclusion 1. B. Only conclusion 2. C. Either 1 or 2. D. Neither 1 nor 2. E. Both 1 and 2. The correct answer is D. Question 18. What is the result? A. 6. B. 9. C. 8. D. 4. The correct answer is A. Question 19. What number comes next in the sequence? A. 47. B. 594. C. 374. D. 35. In this sequence, a two-digit number is followed by a three-digit one and vice versa. So, the number you're looking for has to consist of three digits, as the one that comes before is a two-digit number, and the formula for this sequence of numbers looks like this. So what you have to do is multiply 54 by 11. That makes B the correct answer. Question 20. Identify the shape that continues the sequence. The correct answer is B. Congratulations, you've completed the test. Hope you remember your score. Here are the results. If you answered zero to six questions correctly, you might need to practice more to improve your logical reasoning skills. To do that, you can solve such puzzles as Sudoku and play chess and card games. Those are not only fun to play, but they can also improve your focus. Even learning something new, like a foreign language, or taking up a new hobby will help you get a higher score next time. If you answered six to 12 questions correctly, you're definitely not alone. This is the score the majority of people get. But this shouldn't encourage you to relax and do nothing. There's still room for improvement. If you want to get a higher score next time, here are a couple of things you can do. Try to observe and recognize patterns in everyday things. Even simply searching for them will help you to improve your focus. Speaking of which, meditate. This will help you manage your stress, and when you can stay calm under pressure, nothing can stop you from being able to focus on the task at hand. Read mystery books or watch mystery movies. If you answer 12 to 17 questions correctly, you're a gifted person who has superior logical thinking and reasoning abilities. You can recognize patterns easily. You're good with numbers. When given different sources of information, you can make connections between them. And you have strong visualization skills. Go you! If you answered 18 to 20 questions correctly, hats off to you. You can go ahead and proudly take your place among the geniuses of this world.